வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசிர்வாதம் சே யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் சேவா வெ செல்ஃப் ப்ரோக்ளைம்ட் முஸ்லிம்ஸ் ரிசைட் தி ராங் காலிமா கம் லெட்ஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தி குர்ஆன் டு நோ தி ரைட் காலிமா ஷஹாதா ஆர் டெக்லரேஷன் ஆஃப் இஸ்லாம் அல்லாஹ் விட்னஸஸ் தட் தேர் இஸ் நோ டியட்டி எக்ஸெப்ட் ஹிம் அண்ட் தி ஏஞ்சல்ஸ் அசிஸ்ட் தோஸ் ஆஃப் knowledge தட் கலீஃபா maintaining balance among his creation in justice there is no deity except him the exalted in might the wise quran chapter 3 verse 18 quran chapter 2 verse 30 before the creation of adam god announced his representative on the earth khalifa wise given successive authority on earth quran Chapter 3 verses 33 to 34 Noah is from the bloodline of Seth alias Siva Quran chapter 3 verse 34 says Siva genes are among Noah's descendants Abraham's family and Imran's family Quran chapter 3 verse 34 I quote offspring one of the other and Allah is the all hearer all knower When Allah in Quran chapter 2 verse 30 reminds us about wise giant successive authority on earth and from his bloodline alone Allah would appoint messengers and khalifa who is the wise giant successor authority kalima shahada or declaration of islam among the kumri people is sivan 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 means God omnipotent and Sivan means God representative on earth. Sivan translated into Arabic means Khalifa. Quran chapter 3 verse 18 reminds the senior generation of Qumri people to correct their Kalima Shahada or declaration of Islam. The Pandyan Sangam is also known as Satyugam. The only way to establish the kingdom of God on earth is through its appointed servant Siva the Pandyan. The Arabic term for the Pandyan is Dhulkarnain. Quran chapter 15 verse 41 further says, Whoever follows that appointed servant that path leads straight to God. I quote Quran chapter 15 verses 39 to 42. Lucifer said My Lord because you have put me in error I will surely make disobedience attractive to them on earth and I will mislead them all except among them your chosen servants verse 41 Allah said this is a path of return to me that is straight verse 42 indeed my servants no authority will you have over them except those who follow you of the deviators note how can lucifer have authority over the bloodline of seth alias siva to whom god has given authority over the earth as keeper of balance whoever follows the path given to siddha siva that path leads straight to god siva's bloodline alone can be representative on earth that's why quran chapter 3 verse 34 say some of them are offspring of others meaning pandian princess got married to junior generation and sub junior the junior generation is from noah's descendants and the sub junior generation is from abraham princess hagar and queen sheba are from the bloodline of siva alias seth noah's children also married pandian princesses which is why pandian symbols of yin and yang are found across the globe in civilized society this way pandians traded goods across the globe they never dominated anyone with the rise of the persian empire came the rise of the first beasts which daniel chapter 7 speaks about the wrongdoer from abraham's descendants the black israelites They made friends with a secret society of Caucasian settlers called Mitraism. Since this merger, black Israelites have been marketing Brahmanism or Mitraism under the label of Abrahamic religions. Since the Jewish syndicate consists of traders and priests, they control the trade and trading posts of the Pandians. Let's finish this. Whoever wants to do trade with the Jewish syndicate has to convert to Abrahamic religion across the globe. 
while in India, the elites among the natives have to accept Brahmanism. Whoever among the elites of the senior generation rejected Brahmanism ended up in painful torment. Brahmanism and Abrahamic religion are one, and so are the political parties. All working for a new world order. Mitraism's symbol is kill the bull. Kill the god appointed wise current successive authority on earth. Pandyan Sangam alone can establish the kingdom of God. The Quran reminds the senior generation of Qumri people to correct the Kalima Shahada, or Declaration of Islam, and set the balance. Welcome. Thank you.